Now, I've been playing with this new printer, this Ender 7, for a little while. And you know what? I gotta tell you, this thing's amazing. The, the speed on this is just phenomenal. Well, let's put it this way. I printed this in about a day. Greetings, Dave here, DCBFX. Welcome back. I want to show off this. Uh, this is something I found. There's a great designer on Thingiverse, Unimatrix Red, and he does Star Wars. But he does a lot of Star Trek, so my phasers have come from him. Uh, you know, the ones I printed already. Uh, some of my com badges, uh, the Bacar com badge especially. But he has his file up as well. Now a little hard to see because again, white uh, filament. But I will. What I'll do. I'll put a video right here, so it'll just it'll play while we're talking. This is the Nemesis tricorder, and you know the uh, the lid goes up and down, and there are some models that you can get. Uh, Stapleton makes the body, and then Jerry at the uh, Property FX makes boards for it, I believe, and it lights up like crazy. Uh, in the sh movie itself, this wasn't even animated. This was just a lenticular panel that they sort of moved back and forth. I still need to finish this. As you can see, it's white, and I've got the the panels, the side panels done. I've got the side button done, and a few other things. I've got to paint it and then put all the uh, the correct, correct decals on. But I will do that soon. But I just wanted to point out that this didn't take me long at all. This is a fantastic print, and it's just it's uh, it's nice and it's 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 cute. It's just, it's that next evolution. Because at the time that they were making Nemesis, you know, we're, we're into the, you know, the late 90s. I don't have my timing right in front of me, but it's, I think it's late 90s. Palm Pilots and all these things were all the rage, so why not make a tricorder that sort of meets that criteria? Now, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet, whether it's going to be a medical display on here, which I can very easily do. I have lots of files from that. Or is it going to be like a, I don't know, a stellar or engineering? I, I haven't decided. I haven't decided. But this is just a great file, and I'll link to it here if you want to download it. And you can just take a look at this page. There's some really cool files in there. You know, um, my friend Dino's an amazing designer too, and Unimatrix is right uh, right behind him. So this is looking pretty good for some of the stuff. And I've got a few more to do. I think I'm going to do his Nemesis, not, not his Nemesis, his. Uh, what's the last one, Voyager? whatever that tricorder is, uh, that last one they did, uh, it's much more boxy. Um, it's not end game. Maybe it's end game. I don't know. I didn't watch Voyager. I liked the first couple seasons and it sort of went off the rails for me. I didn't really like it as much. Everyone has different tastes. I still haven't finished DS9. So that is something I want to show off. This is still not a, you know, a follow-up video on the Ender 7. But even then, like this thing was was amazing. The one thing I did learn about the Ender, some of the smaller pieces, there's even one itty bitty little piece right in here, and there's the itty bitty little piece right here. Um, small pieces on the Ender Seven, not so good, not so good because it's so darn fast. The small pieces get get knocked off to the side. I had a couple fails, so that's why some of these are in a different color because I went to my CR10 V2. So I had the side button here on that because I was having real problems getting all the supports done because it has to have a small post to go in. So that's the video for today. Uh, a little more talk about 3D printing. You know, that's what I said a couple uh, videos ago. Hey, I 3D print. That's pretty much all I seem to do. And hey, thank you for all the subscribers, everyone who's come in. I'm getting closer and closer to that that thousand goal. I, my friend Jacob just posted his 100K award from YouTube, and I. I hope I'll get there one day, but still ways away till I get there. You know, I'm only not even at two years, so I have ways to go. But I'm, I'm having fun doing it, so that's the important thing that uh, I'm enjoying doing this. I like getting, I wouldn't say dressed up, but like putting on my uniforms and doing some fun things with it. So why not? So that is today's video. Hope everyone's having a great day, and we'll talk to you all later.